Hello there, we have just picked that these are Mazda Tenza 2016 a petrol from Mombasa. So these are 2000 cc petrol uh, Mazda Tenza. So the Mazda Tenza comes with a three engine variant. What I have is a 2000 cc natural aspirated on an turbo petrol engine. For the petrol look, you can also find a 2.5 liter and then there is a third engine which is a 2.2 turbo diesel. All the attenders come either with a six-speed automatic gearbox or a six-speed manual gearbox. This one has an, uh, this one has a six-speed automatic gearbox, but it also has paddle shifters, especially if you want to use uh, the manual mode. So for the Mazda attenders are petrol. There are not many things that can go wrong. Now, for, for example, for this car, we just service it with a 5W30 oil, and then we are hoping that it's going to click at the next 10,000 kilometers without necessarily skipping a bit. So basically, we run all the pre-purchase assessment on this car. That's the mechanical checks, uh, the body works, and we ensure that we are getting a very clean unit. And mind you, this car has a mileage of 21,000 kilometers. Yes, you heard that right. Just 21,000 kilometers, and those are genuine kilometers. And so far from uh, the, uh, the experience I'm getting, because I've uh, driven this car for like now 330 kilometers from Mombasa to this spot, it is uh, holding to the road pretty well. Mazda Tenza has actually come with uh, two body shapes. What I have here is actually a sedan, but you can also find a wagon. Of course, someone like me who's a big fan of a wagon, I'll consider a wagon, but majority of the people, they find that this is a sedan better looking. So this is a car I'll highly recommend for someone who wants something that, that is a reliable, because for this a petrol option, the engine is a pretty solid and the gearbox doesn't have an issue. So you, that way you are guaranteed that uh, the mechanical lifespan of the car is, all, is actually guaranteed. And then when I'm looking at the maintenance cost of this car, it's actually pretty simple. An oil change for this car will cost you around 6,000 shillings. The only thing that is expensive in this car are the brake pads. Eh? Front brake pads, original ones, will cost you 5,500 shillings. The rear ones will actually cost you 6,500 shillings. So cumulatively, that is around 11,000 shillings. So the maintenance of this car is not that expensive, but still, uh, there is something I want you to maybe to note. When you're purchasing this car, these are low seating sedan. So if you are traversing bad roads, you may want to consider installing heavy duty springs because as, as it is, it's actually stock. You will have problems actually going over bumps. So that is a, maybe something you may want to consider. So, so as you can check uh, this car when you're looking at its uh, body, it's in a fairly good uh, condition because even the, rub, the wheels here are uh, pretty okay. These are 17 inch wheels. For those people who will be purchasing uh, the 2.5 liter of the diesel, you can actually get uh, the 19 inch wheels which actually also look uh, pretty good. So this is a very beautiful car, I'll say that, because majority of the people will be purchasing this car. Maybe the looks, the, the aesthetic cars are all to play, especially on, uh, on what will uh, drive someone to purchase this car. Now when you're looking at the rivals of this car, uh, this car goes for 2.4 million shillings, they are about to 2.5 million shillings. So instead of this car, you can also consider something like uh, the Toyota Mark X, you can also consider something like uh, the Nissan Skyline, uh, that is the Infiniti Q50. You can also consider the Subaru Legacy. That is if you want something that uh, has all-wheel drive. This is how the cabin of this car looks like, and it's actually in a very good condition. This, this is a petrol variant, but at least you can check that it, it, is, comes, it comes with this uh, ball sound system, which actually has a very good uh, quality you can check because these are petrol flavor it comes with these are sports mode button for the diesel ones that they don't come with these are sports mode and then this has an electronic parking brake the display here and uh, the gauges are actually working pretty well and this car has an heads up display so on the road i don't need to look at these uh, gauges here i just need to look at these uh, heads up display and it's going to actually work my it's going to make my work easy especially when i'm you're, you're, uh, I'm, uh, I'm reading the speeds we have volume control buttons here, cruise control button here, and this car actually has a gazillion of safety features because we have a lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring here, collision mitigation system. So it's a very good, uh, I'll highly recommend it. Eh? So if you want to purchase a Mazda Tenza, you can always ring us or and ask us uh, uh, any question you literally have about uh, this uh, Mazda Tenza. In other markets, it's actually called the Mazda 6. It's one and the same thing. And uh, mechanically, the wagon is also mechanically identical to this sedan, and they share all those are three engines, so there's no difference. The, the choice of going for a wagon or a sedan, that one depends on you. So if you want to purchase a car, shoot us a message or ring us, and we're going to make your car ownership journey easy. Basically, we're going to scout uh, 
a clean car for you just like this one which has a 21,000 kilometers but I'm not promising you that uh, it's easy finding a car with 21,000 kilometers this one uh, is uh, the buyer is extremely lucky so I'll uh, be bringing you a detailed and in-depth review about this car but so far so good uh, it's holding pretty well and the fuel economy for this car is around 12.5 kilometers per liter which is a uh, pretty good for a 2000 cc petrol car